Well, it is a major thoroughfare in the heart of downtown Knoxville, and in just a few days, it's going to be closed, and officials estimate it will not be reopening for several years. We're talking about the Broadway Viaduct linking Jackson and Depot Avenues. Now, the State Department of Transportation saying the stretch of road on the viaduct sees over 10,000 vehicles per day. New at 4, WATE 6 on your side reporter, Kirsty Crawford, is live on Broadway. So, Kirsty, I know you've spent the day learning more about the impacts of this closure. That's right. And People, drivers will be severely impacted by this, especially those who live and work or work off of North Broadway but head into downtown often. Now, this bridge, TDOT says, is more than 90 years old, and they say that it's uh, deteriorating and needs to be replaced. But this bridge is a main thoroughfare to downtown and North Knoxville. Not only will this bridge be closed for at least the next three years, but a portion of the project coincides with the Jackson Avenue ramp project. So using Jackson Avenue to Gay Street uh, from Gay Street won't be an option as a detour for several months. Business owners on Jackson Avenue hope the two projects won't affect them too much. They say the city and state have been good with those detour signs around the area. The TDOT spokesperson says once the bridge is done in 2022, traveling to Jackson Avenue and downtown will be a lot smoother for everyone the stairwell on uh, Central, you know, right at where the viaduct is, uh, gets my walkers here, you know, it's not impossible. The new bridge that's going to be constructed is going to have one lane in each direction with a center turn lane, but it's also going to be friendly for uh, pedestrians and bicyclists as well. Now, these businesses on Jackson Avenue want to remind everyone they will be open for those three, at least three years that these projects are going on. Uh, weather permitting, this, this Broadway Viaduct project is supposed to be completed in August of 2022, but there are several detours available. Reporting live in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you very much. And as she said, there are still several detours starting November 3rd, so get ready next weekend. What do you always say? Pack, Pack your, your patience. patience. You're going to need it for the next three years, yes. that's for sure. All right, there are detours uh, that officials want drivers, though, to know about. And if you're heading from North Broadway and want to get to Jackson Avenue, the main detour will take you to Fifth Avenue, down to Hall of Fame, and then to Summit Hill. If you're heading to North Broadway from downtown, you'll take Western Avenue to University to Fifth, and then back to Broadway. All right, now you've been forewarned. Yes, you have. So been. we'll keep you posted on the progress there.